Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar, and welcome to Get Curried. Hey Chef. Yeah. What about this? Your ingredient for the day. And what do you want to eat? You're the chef. So let me surprise you, and let me surprise you as well by stuffing this and making Afghani dolmas. Let's begin. Now because this was thrown at me, I'm going to stuff the bell peppers, but otherwise dolmas can be various kinds. Uh, you could stuff squashes, zucchinis, pumpkins, baby pumpkins, uh, tomatoes, onions, aubergines, go all out and use the same stuffing or a similar kind of a stuffing, personalize it if you uh, wish to and create this. But otherwise, uh, you can put meat in this, you can put chicken in this and you can go all out and create your stuffings. Today's style is a very typical Afghani style of making this but otherwise when you travel in the Mediterranean belt or in the Gulf or in the Emirates you get different kinds of dolmas. You could also take the similar filling and roll it in cabbage leaves or in wine leaves. Choice is completely yours but today let's do capsicums. Now the first thing is to of course take tinier capsicums or uh, capsicums which um, could hold in compact almost like a pressure cooker uh, that's the size that you choose now this one is slightly larger you could also cut this into half but principally if you could take these sizes then you just puncture it uh, remove the cap off stuff it tightly put the cap back on and then you go all out let me take that one at a time to begin with let me show you how do you clean this the first thing is to with the thumb punch it like so now the moment this goes inside, almost three-fourths, you pull this out, get the entire bulb of seed out and that's where you have a case or a cavity which is natural. Now the next thing is to remove all the seeds and also to ensure that the contours that are within the capsicum are kind of scraped and removed. Now the whole idea is to knock this back like so and remove all the seeds or as many seeds and as many of those little pith like things like so and similarly let's continue with the rest of the bell peppers well if you find this punching business slightly uh, complicated what you could also do is hold the paring knife like a pencil and then you start carving the cap off like so Well, this way, the cap gets pulled out with absolute ease and that's what you want because you also want to save the cap because after stuffing, you want to cover this back so that the mixture or the filling starts cooking literally like a pressure cooking buildup. So that's also very important here. Let's carve the contours of the capsicum and tap this to ensure that there are no seeds and pith. Now for the stuffing, I'm going to use uh, parboiled rice, I'm going to use chicken mince and I'm also going to add lots of onions for that sweetness, for that tenderness in this recipe. Let's cut this nice and fine. With lots of onions in this recipe, the mouthfeel of the filling suddenly changes because when I say tenderness, I mean the meat also starts suddenly feeling more tender and that's the beauty of adding lots of onions from these onions I'm going to keep some aside for of course the sauce or the gravy and the remaining onions need to go in the parboiled rice by parboiled I mean rice which is half boiled let's keep this aside and let's move on to cutting some coriander leaves need to cut this nice and fine let's add the coriander leaves as well into the rice and onion mixture. This way, like I said, you can personalize your stuffing. You can add in lots of parsley, you can add in dill leaves, you can add in mint leaves. The choice is completely yours. Just ensure there's some herb that brings that life or that freshness in this recipe. To this mixture, let's add in chicken mince, along with some flavorings. In this case, salt. In case you've added salt while boiling the rice or while parboiling the rice, add it with caution. Pepper, freshly cracked cumin powder and last but not the least tomato puree 
Now, tomato puree again uh, could be optional in this recipe because, like I said, different regions make a dolma differently. Um, you want to add in tomato puree or just keep it to the sauce bit, that's completely personal as a choice. Let's mix all of this well. It has to be well mixed because again, you're not going to mix this. You're going to straight take this and put it inside the vegetable of your choice. In this case, bell peppers. Once this is mixed and ready, your filling for the dolma is done and ready. The next step is of course, to take the bell peppers and start stuffing this. The stuffing in this case or in any case of the dolma needs to be nice and compact. Do not keep it loose because like I'm saying again and again, the technique is to create this like a pressure cooker. There needs to be steam that generates within and then this all cooks literally like a ball and that's important. The next step in this case is to take the caps that we had kept aside and lock this like so. So it's back to the normal shape. Let's keep this aside and let's start filling the rest of the capsicum. And with this, your dolma is literally stuffed and ready. The next step is to of course make the sauce and then to cook the dolmas. Let's head there. In a pan, let's heat oil. We're talking about the size of the pan. Now this is again very critical and important because the size has to be as that can take all the bell peppers or all the capsicums at one time and also it has to be compact. So if you see all of these will literally fit nice and compact in this pan and that's the reason why I've chosen this size. Once the olive oil heats, I'm going to add in red onions, which if you remember, we had kept aside. They just have to lightly sweat. We're not looking at caramelization of any kind in this case. And that's about it. The onions have begun to sweat. Let's add in tomato puree. And along with this, I'm going to add in some water. A touch of salt and pepper, beginning with freshly cracked black pepper and salt as required. Now remember the fact that most of the water is also going to get absorbed. So do not overdo your salt. Let's stir this well. And the idea is not to cook this sauce at this stage because the sauce is simultaneously cooked while the capsicum or the bell peppers get baked. Once this sauce starts simmering at the sides, I'm going to lower the flame and start placing the bell peppers. Well, this is also the same dish in which this is generally served. So ensure it looks nice and colorful because later you're not going to shuffle or change the positions. Once the capsicum is well placed in this, we're going to increase the flame. And now there are two, three things that are going to happen here. One, the capsicum is going to start getting cooked from the bottom. The sauce will also start evaporating at this stage. Remember the salt that I was talking about? This is what's going to happen now. And the next is to push this in an oven and cook this 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes so that it gets nice and beautifully caramelized from the top as well. And with this, off goes the flame and the stuffed bell peppers or the dolmas move straight into the oven. With this, our Afghani dolmas are baked and ready. Let's move on to the next step and that is making a quick topping using curd. For which I'm taking a deep bowl and to this I'm adding in dahi. Let's add in some grated garlic, some chopped dill leaves, salt as required, some freshness of lemon juice. Ensure that the seeds are collected because you do not want surprises while having this. Let's whisk this till it's nice and smooth. A yogurt dip or a yogurt topping is done and ready. Let's add this in specks here and there on top of the Afghani dolmas. Now if you see, 
They're looking so pretty. They're beautifully caramelized on the top and they're nice and not really mushy. They still are holding its shape and that's the beauty of this recipe. You have to cook it perfectly in the tomato sauce and then you have to caramelize it just perfectly on the top. And that's where you get these lovely looking Afghani dolmas. Let's top this up with this dill, yogurt and garlic topping. Just to ensure this looks nice and colorful, I'm adding in these little specks of the leaves. But this, our Afghani dolmas are done and ready. I hope you are impressed and you too. Of course, I like what you make. Bye for now.